So welcome to your fifth Visual Basic tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to use if statements in your Visual Basic programs. So if you heard me in the previous tutorial right at the end I said that, that if statements are where the fun begins in Visual Basic or in any programming language. Basically what it is is it will make your program more dynamic. So we could have a text box on here and if you type in the word hello it comes back saying well hello there and if you say goodbye then it will say something else so that's what we're going to do today so first what we're going to do is going to drag in a text box and you just need to scroll down for it down here put the text box in and we also want a button and put that in like that and I'm going to change the text of this button to um, speak and then I'm going to change the text of this form to um, something, I don't know what to call it like that and I'm going to resize this so there's just a basic form text box, button and I've just renamed the components so if we double click on the button and to see its code, so button one click here that's the event and I'm going to make some space in here I'm going to put if and then space so that's if so starting off the if statement and then we need to put the condition so you put text box one dot text like that so if the the text property of text box one equals and then s since it's a string we're going to put the uh, speech marks so quotes and then in here I'll put hello and then we put then and notice how it's put end if just don't worry about that that's just ending off this whole statement so this is the statement and that's just ending it off and then here we after this line we put the code that's going to be executed if this is true so if this return turns true then execute this code so and here I'm going to put message box dot show put the brackets and quotes because it's a string and put well hello there so this is the code that is executed if this returns to be true so we can run this now and you see if we press the speak button nothing happens and then if we type in hello it says well hello there and if I type in like some random numbers and press speak nothing happens because that doesn't say hello because we said only if it says hello so now I'm going to teach you how to use elf, else statements in an if statement so underneath here we're just going to put else and it's going to be in line with the if and then all the code after this else is going to be executed if this returns false so I'm going to put else message box dot show put the brackets put the, sp put the quotes and put I don't understand you like that so if I run that and I just type in something random speak I don't understand you easy as that so we've also got else if statements and to do that we put else if just like that so else if and then here we can put another condition so text box one dot text equals and here we can put goodbye and down here we can just change this text to um, see you later so if we run this now oh and there's no space between else and if that was my mistake sorry so if I put in goodbye and press speak see you later and still if I put hello speak well hello there and I can put as many else if statements as I want and so that's your tutorial on if statements in Visual Basic and now you can make your forms and your programs a lot more dynamics with user input. 
So thank you for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.